You watch the perfect pepperoni pizza cut and served, but you notice somehow your slice has only one piece of pepperoni on it, and everybody else seems to have like three or four on their slices. How does something like that happen? I mean, if we want to be picky, you actually do have a sliver of a second slot, you know, piece of pepperoni, but, but basically only one. God is a God of abundance. And the book of Genesis says that God created everything and God created everything good, the sky, the sea, the land, and it's teeming with birds and fish and all kinds of creatures, including trees of seed-bearing fruit, and he creates Adam and Eve and all humanity, and he gives to us dominion over all this abundant creation. Today's first reading from the Book of Wisdom reflects on the creation story and expounds upon it, but it recognizes that in this world of abundance, it isn't all roses, cherries, and pepperoni pizza. There are bad things that are also mixed in with creation. Quote, God did not make death, nor does he rejoice in the destruction of the living. For he fashioned all things that they might have being, and the creatures of the world are wholesome. Today's reading also reminds us of our unique and exalted place within creation. Quote, For God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made him. And it reminds us, justice is undying. We are given dominion over all creation and we are called to live in justice and righteousness, which means to be attentive to each other and giving each other what is due to them based on their dignity that they too were created by God. And if we are not just, God will provide justice, either in this world or in eternity, for justice is undying. So what should justice look like when considering the abundance of creation? Well, everywhere that St. Paul preached, he had this unenviable task of taking up a collection for the poor people in Jerusalem, which was kind of their version of the Vatican back in the earliest days of the church. And he says to the Christians at Corinth, your abundance at this present time should supply their needs, and he calls this a matter of equality, justice. So it's not right that I only have one piece of pepperoni on my slice of the perfect pepperoni pizza then, right? And that everybody else has three or four on theirs? That is correct. It is not right that you only have one piece. God is a God of goodness, abundance, and justice, and the world has plenty, plenty to supply for all people. True, some end up with more property, more wealth, more education, more influence, and a variety of factors go into it. Maybe it's a family background. Maybe it's good work ethic. Maybe it's just good fortune. But somehow, some people have more pepperoni than the rest. Should the, should they, should we, should I be giving more? so that there might be greater equality? The answer is yes. We are created in God's image and likeness, 
which means we too then are to be people of goodness, equality, and justice. Not primarily because we're Americans, but because we're humans. And because we're Christians. In the second reading, Paul reminds us, For you already know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, because he's divine, for your sake he became poor, even to the point of death on a cross, so that by his poverty you might become rich. But it's my slice of four-piece pepperoni pizza. Or, I worked hard for my money. It's mine. To what degree? This is the confusing part. To what degree are we asked to share? And St. Paul gives us this advice when sharing. Not that others should have relief while we're burdened, but that as a matter of equality, your present abundance at the present time should supply their needs so that at a later date, their abundance may also supply your needs. That there may always be equity, as it is written in the book of Exodus, whoever had much did not have more, and whoever had little did not have less. So whether the issue is immigration, social security, food stamps, disability, school funding, farm bills, or whatever it may be, we need to live with a spirit of goodness, abundance, and justice. And our giving should be somewhere on this spectrum of that our giving should not in some way cause us to suffer so that they can enjoy. And at the other end of the spectrum of where we need to live is the reminder that Jesus emptied himself completely on the cross so that we could be rich with life. And there are some people who are called to live like St. Francis or St. Clara of Assisi or St. Teresa of Calcutta and give at that level but definitely, we are not to be people who say, it's my slice of four-piece pepperoni pizza. It's my money. I worked hard for this. God is a God of goodness, abundance, and justice. And the world has plenty to supply all people. May we who are made in the image and likeness of God be so.